What's up out there, family and friends? It's your boy, the motivational teacher to the masses, doing you another YouTube live. A hey, please look, like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube page. I promise to always be breaking fresh bread. You better get at your boy. For a brief moment today, I want to talk to you about one thing. Do what you were born to do. It's amazing as we walk out through, through life and we look at nature and at all of God's beautiful things, man. When we look at all of creation, it marvels and it screams, screams how good God is. And everything out there is created for a unique purpose and, it's, and it has a unique image to accomplish the purpose of which God set it out to be or set it out to do. When I think about fish, when you look at fish in an aquarium or you look at fish in water, they are so fluid and they so just built for it. Their bodies and everything about the fish, they can see underwater with the eyes. They were just built for the water. When I look at a cheetah, when I watch a cheetah run on earth and they're going so fast and that tail kind of keeps them balanced. And I say, wow, look at that cheetah doing what God created it to do. When I see the lion, the king of the jungle, when I see a lion sit up on a hill and just growl, I said, man, look at the king of the jungle doing what it's supposed to do. When I think about all of creation, there's nothing in creation other than men that change that their, their DNA or change what they were meant and supposed to do. And see, I, my goal in life, my goal in life is to motivate the masses. And I promise you spend six minutes with me on this video. I'm going to change the way you look at what God has given you. Imagine if we judge that fish on its ability to live on land. Or imagine if we judge that cheetah to the ability to live in water. Or imagine if we took the king of the jungle, that lion, and we put that lion in the water and say, all right, lion, now you got to be the king of the water, be the king of the jungle from the water. That lion would cease to be a lion. That fish would cease to be as productive as it is in water. And that cheetah would never be able to materialize its gift and watch it and watch it in motion do what it's supposed to do. And see, likewise, ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we've spent time doing things outside of what we were born to do. Boy, I'm about to break bread on this video. We've been, we've been judging ourselves as a, as a fish that is not living in water. We, we, we're fish out of water while we're doing what we're, we're doing. We go to these jobs just over broke and we spent eight hours there and it has nothing to do with our God-given ability. And we wonder why and we can't wait to the weekend. See, if you can't wait to the weekend, yep. You need to find out what you were created to do and get moving in that direction. You got to do what you were born to do. What thing in your life would you do for free? What would you do for free? You see, because God gave us gifts and those gifts were meant to make room for us in the end. No longer do we have to live on this earth where we're only living to rob Peter and to pay Paul. See, God created us with a wealthy place on the inside of us, but we can't get to that wealthy place until we're productive. And what God has given us to do. What are you born to do? Marie Callender, one of, the, one of my favorite stories that I read her story, a diner was going out of business. And Marie Callender said, sir, you're going out of business. I'm a single mom. I don't have any other. I'm a waitress in your restaurant. I have no other means of income. If you don't survive, I don't survive. So in the midst of in the midst of, of, of a detriment, in the midst of controversy, in the midst of COVID-19, there's genius out there on the inside of you. You don't have to wait till this is over to discover your genius. You discover your genius right in the midst of the controversy. Boy, I'm breaking bread right now. Right now in the midst of the adversity, there's genius on the inside of you. Why are you waiting until this is over to start uncovering, discovering, and finding what you were born to do and putting your hands to it? In the midst of that diner going out of business, Marie Callender says, sir, I can't afford to have you go out of business. We're going to take this hamburger diner, and what I do, I make pies. People love my pies. Can I please bring a pie in here and hopefully increase the revenue? So the next day, Marie Callender bought one pie. Brought, no, she brought a half a pie. They cut that half a pie up, 
into three different slices. The pie was gone by, the half a pie was gone by lunch. The next day, Marie Callender bought a whole pie. The whole pie was gone by lunch. The next day, Marie Callender had to buy, had to bring five pies. And the five pies were gone by the end of the day. And the, and the demand for Marie's Callender pies got so high, Marie Callender had to buy a, a, a commercial grade oven to put in her house in order to keep the production of the pies. See, it was in the midst, yeah, of controversy. It was in the midst of adversity where genius came out of Marie Callender. Man, Marie Callender now, you can't go to any frozen food section in any grocery store without seeing Marie Callender pies. And now Marie Callender has over 120 restaurants that are still in her family. Why? Because the diner was about to go out of business. And you're telling me that you can't move or you're paralyzed now by COVID-19? I'm telling you that there's genius on the inside of you. There's a little Marie Callender in you right now itching for you to do what you were born to do. I know, I know, Aunt. Well, I only got a few nickels right now, Aunt. Well, you rub them few nickels together and you do what you suppose. If you, it may, if you cut grass better than everybody that you know, go find a lawnmower and begin to cut grass. Sometimes you have to serve your gift for free before people recognize the true value. All Marie Callender did was bring a half a pie. Man, can you believe the whole Marie Callender empire started with a half a pie in the midst of adversity? Don't dare allow what's going on within, within this world, but we're not of this world. Don't allow what's going on in this world to affect what we do because we're of this world. My relationship with this economy is not the same as people in this world. I am of this world, meaning I live by a different set of standards. And I have a king that looks out for his kingdom. And I'm just so happy to when he created me, when God created me, he created me with genius. When my dad's sperm cell hits my mom's egg, God knew I had plans for my life at that moment. So why must you be afraid when you have genius and there's something that your hands, look at your hands. I want you to look at your hands, rub them because your wealthy place, you were meant to create, gener create, create generational wealth through your gifting. See, you just been working on a job. Yeah, you just been going to your just over broke. Yeah, you 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 just been trying to make ends meet. We got to exit the life of just trying to make ends meet. It's okay to work in a job as long as you're discovering and it's honing your gift. I don't mind my eight to five because my eight to five is tied to leading, coaching, and developing people. And that's what God has put me on earth to do. So I'm, I'm appreciative for my company paying me for me to mature my gifts on that on that time now what what does that do for them i'm one of the best employees at my job why because it's not a job because i'm maturing my gifts i'm using what god has given me to change this world and until you realize what you're supposed to be doing in order to change this world you're gonna feel like you're on a you're a hamster on a wheel and just going over and over and over again never materializing what you know that's on the inside of you you know the reason why you're so discontent going into that job because you know that there's more on the inside of you. Why would you allow yourself to walk into a place that if you stay there 45, 50 years, if they don't lay you off because of your age, or if they don't, or at the end of your retirement, they give you a, a, a semi-gold watch, and then you've given them 50 years of your life with nothing to show in return. Man, we have to be more intentional about our lives. Too many of us are merely existing when we should be thriving. We should be thriving right now in the midst of COVID-19. You should be thinking of way, better ways to mature your gift. Malcolm Gladwell said 10,000 hours make you an expert. You should be looking for time to invest your 10,000 hours. We can no longer, I'm about to break bread. I am about to break bread. We can no longer live as mere humans. We have to understand and know there was something I was born to do. Every problem is a business. I, if, if you bring, I, I tell my team all the time, make impact. Wherever you go, bring solutions. Because to every, every business, at, at, at the root, every business opportunity solves a problem. At the root of every business, it solves a problem. My question to you is, how valuable are you? How many problems do you, what do you bring solutions to? My question to you is, what are you going to do with this newfound time, with everything closed? What are you going to do to uncover what you were born to do? Until you discover what you were born to do, you can never, 
You will never, you will never, let me say it again. You will never, there's nobody coming to save you with a cake. You can't make a living on stimulus packages every eight to 10 years. There's nobody coming to say, Ed McMahon is not coming to your front door. Uh, 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 Iron Man is not coming to save you. God has made you, you are genius. There's genius on the inside. Yes, greatness on the inside of you. Stop depending on this world to save you. And you begin to discover your gift and you create generational blessings. Man, I just broke Bread. In the midst of 10 minutes, I disarmed every excuse you ever had as to why you can't be great. And in the 10 minutes, I dispelled every excuse people told you why you could not do it. Guess what? God never creates anything without a purpose. Like that fish in that water or that cheetah on land, there's somewhere you fit on that earth where it is as seamless. I just broke bread. It is as seamless as the fish. Swimming in water, there's a place where you fit like a cheetah running on this earth. But you got to take time to discover what you were born to do. This is your boy. I am bringing the hits. High intensity <laughs> trainings. I am bringing the hits. If you want your life to be different, you have to make different decisions. You can no longer sit back in your seat of comfort and just accept what comes to you. You have to say, you know what? If the if, if the wind won't blow the apple out the tree down, then doggone it, I'm going to go shake the tree in order to get the apple. I will no longer depend on the system for my well-being. Because God has given too much on the inside of me to have me sit back and wait for somebody else to try to do what it was meant for me to do in my own life and my own future, man. And I'm telling you right now, listen to your boy. Listen to your boy. There's greatness on the inside of you. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. Don't you know that, man, everywhere your feet should tread, you can own don't you know, you, you don't have to rob Peter to pay Paul. There's a place where, where, where all your needs are met. You can have a, a great relationship with your spouse, have great kids. There's a place where you have a great relationship with friends. Your body is healthy and whole. There is a place, but we don't get to that place until we start doing what God has placed us on this earth to do. Do what you were born to do. What do you have in your hands that solves a problem? Until we get to solving these problems until we become more valuable in our field in which we've spent 10,000 hours. And the more time we spend in a field, the more valuable we become. And I said it in my last video, that's why we have to have a tight growth development plan. We have to have one. If you're not sitting down mapping out how you how you going to spend your 10 hours, then you're already behind because there's the person next door. Yep, they got a tight growth development plan and they won't be next door. They're going to be moving on up like George and Wheezy. Why? Because they discovered their gifts and their talents and they're doing what they're born to do. They're doing what they're born to do. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself, oh, well, yeah, you know, I'm 40 years old. I, I just I just haven't been, hey. We ain't gonna, we can't, we can't cry about the past. Forgive yourself. Give yourself some grace and say, hey, today, focus on the now. I got to win the now. I got to win the now. Today, I start my 10,000 hours. Today, I start reading more books. And today, I start baking cookies just to try different recipes. Today, I start making cupcakes to see which recipes work. Today, I take my lawnmower back there in my yard and I start cutting the grass just to see can I learn how to cut patterns. Today, it starts. I can't cry about yesterday. I can't shed no more tears about what's left out my past because I'm so focused on my future. It's your boy, the motivational teacher to the masses, bringing them hits up on YouTube tonight. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I promise you there will always be fresh bread. Until next time, I am challenging you to wage war on mediocrity. We out.